your research has taken you to places metaphorically within the areas of research that very few have been able to go let's take one such example where you explained the characteristics of the prince rupert's drops and what makes them so fascinating bill johnson introduced me to this problem of rupert's drops and said these are glass drops which are made by just heating a piece of glass rod and quenching the molten drop in water and you get a tear shaped drop and they have these peculiar properties that you can take the drop and you bang the head pretty hard um, against a hammer or even more severely and the drop would not break on the other hand if you snip its tail it will explode into powder this had intrigued so called natural philosophers from the 1600s and it also has a very strong connection with the founding of the royal society mm. which is the oldest scientific society these drops if you go on the web and look at them they'll always have some bubbles inside so johnson said these drops very interesting they're very strong in the head when you snip the tail they explode into powder so maybe if you do high speed photography we could decipher why it behaves the way it does how does it disintegrate